April solar update and energy use stats. We'll start off with a bit of an update in the system we have at home. We've now removed the gas completely. So the only thing we had on gas was the hob and that's now our induction hob. Here's a quick reminder, please feel free to pause the video of the setup we have at home and we are still using the infrared heating in April. Our home usage in April was 1.227 megawatt hours and the highest days usage was 102.9 kilowatt hours and the lowest was 21.3 kilowatt hours with an average of 40.9 kilowatt hours. We've got 987.5 kilowatt hours from the solar and the lowest was 6.7 kilowatt hours and the best day of from solar was 55.1 kilowatt hours. From the Tesla power wall we got 315.5 kilowatt hours and most of that came from the solar as you can see from the graph um, as the month went on more and more of it did come from the solar. Our net grid usage was 284.7 kilowatt hours and we got 160 kilowatt hours of excess solar that went directly into the EVs and we also got 183 kilowatts of excess solar going into the hot water tank. I did miss the photograph um, at the end of the month but I did take it from the months before to get the totals. The Tesla app said we were self-powered for 83% of the time in April and we saved £308 um, from shifting our energy from off peak, uh, from peak to off peak and also the solar contribution. And our solar contribution was 80% of our total home usage. Our original three kilowatt um, inverter produced 424.1 kilowatt hours. The newer um, three kilowatt inverter produced 416.7 kilowatt hours and the small 1.2 kilowatt inverter produced 144.4 kilowatt hours which gives us a total of 985.2 kilowatt hours um, direct from the inverters. In April the MG did 272 miles and the Eagle did 349 miles so that's 621 miles altogether and that was a at a cost of 90 pence um 172.1 kilowatt hours went into the cars and 160 of those came directly from the solar we used 343 kilowatt hours from the grid in april and we had 987 and a half kilowatt hours from solar the cost per kilowatt hour from what we pulled from the grid was 10.2 kilowatt sorry 10.2 pence per kilowatt hour and when you include what we generated from the solar the average cost per kilowatt hour was 2.6 pence per kilowatt hour that takes our yearly overall averages with the solar to 5.7 pence per kilowatt hour since the start of january out of the 1227.2 kilowatt hours we used or we had a home usage um, in April the hot water used 25% of that at 310 kilowatt hours at a cost of eight pound and 77 pence our grid export was 58.1 kilowatt hours our car charging from solar was 160 kilowatt hours and 12.1 kilowatt hours from the grid and that was at a cost of 90 pence for for all 172.1 kilowatt hours uh, we're still using electric heating at the moment um, that was 209.1 kilowatt hours or 17 percent of our home usage at a cost of five pounds and 43 in april the dehumidifier used two percent at 56 pence um, the cooking we've now got the electric hob instead of the gas hob but was four percent at 53.9 kilowatt hours at a cost of £1.40. 
Um, washing and drying the clothes came in at 35.6 kilowatt hours and 92 pence. The fridge freezer used 32.7 kilowatt hours at 85 pence. And the rest of the um, home usage was 344 kilowatt hours at eight pounds and 94 pence. Hopefully we won't be using the heating anymore um, after April, but we did have a cost of five pounds and 43 pence in April for the 209.1 kilowatt hours. And that takes our total throughout the heating season from, from October to April to 4,652.3 kilowatt hours to maintain 20 to 21 degrees, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And, and that was at a cost of £326.91, pence, which I think is very, very reasonable um, to heat the house completely through the winter. And to finally summarise up until the end of April of 2022, so that's from January to April, we've now been grid free for 25 days. We've travelled a total of 2,785 miles at a cost of £36.55. We've, we've imported 5,030 kilowatt hours. We've generated 2,604.2 kilowatt hours. And we, so that's a total of 7,634.2 kilowatt hours at a cost of £457.51. Our gas up until April was £21.96, but that won't go up any further because we don't have gas anymore. So that's a total cost for 2022 of £479.47. We've had one FIT payment of £203.60, so that gives us a balance of £275.87, including VAT or daily charges. As usual thanks for watching and following and um, please like and subscribe and if you've got any comments or questions please add it to the section below and i will leave you with with the day by day stats from the tesla app